I've gone as far as I can with the pastel pencil and now I'm going to start with the soft pastel. And um, you also notice that I've taken a little bit of the bottom of the picture off. It was just showing just a bit too much of that rock. So I just rubbed it out and just re-taped it. And I think that looks better now. It brings a tiger more into focus where it was all rock before. Now, I've started with a little bit of green. And what we want to do is to try to establish the idea that I've already established there with the um, pastel pencils. But now we can enhance it with the, with the soft pastel. So it's always a good idea to do it with the pastel pencil first because you get the, get the general picture, so to speak. Uh, I think I'll just break into there and come down here. I'm going to try to keep the whole picture in view for you. It's so easy to move the picture out of your eye line. Now I'm going to use a dark green. Darker green. Let's see if I can move it a little darker than that. This is a little darker than that, and this is um oh that's better. It just needs to be a little bit stronger. That's great. Now when when do you you start blending? I expect you're thinking that. Well, it's always a good idea just to get the thing started before you blend it. So let's bring that, I'm going to bring a little bit more into play before I do that. That's another, let's find another green as well, lighter green perhaps. Ooh, that's a bright one isn't it? It's not going to appear that way when I finish though because it will be absorbed into that stronger colour. That's good. Now we need some dark colours now so I think what I'll do is I'll use a dark grey and find a dark grey in my arsenal here. Mm. Well I can't so I'll have to use this one on here. This is a dark grey. In fact I think folks that might be black. It is black. This is a polychromos black, but the black intensity is much stronger, so you don't want to put too much on. You'd be amazed at the difference that's going to make when I blend it in a minute. Okay, now down here. Now here we've got some detail, so we can use the, the, the pastels to create more detail than we've got. This is sort of more general colour, but down here we need to... Oh, that's pretty colour. It's one, like 106, I think this might be 106 in soft pastel. That's lovely, that. Now we need some ochre. We can't do without that. We have a yellow ochre. And I think we'll have some I'm looking for 182. I can't find it. Never mind. Is that 180? Oh, that's 180. 180 is um, polychromos here. Is very similar to 182, so you can use it as a substitute. Just a spot darker, which might work in our favour. Now, you see how I've I've I've, I've arranged that. Now, let's see what we can do now with the pass with the blender. I'm going to use a blender rather than my finger because this will give me much more control. Now that is very dark. That's right up in the corner. And then you can bring it into by the time it gets to here, it's mixed with the greens as well. 
so we can use it to put some distant foliage. That looks nice. I don't want it any darker than that. That's nice. Up in that corner is nice. So let's just see how we get on now as we mix it with the other tones. Bear in mind. See, there is a certain little bit of magic like that bit, which I think is great. Now you I just enhance it if I can. Just a little bit. Yep, that looks good. You've got to watch for these as you go through your picture. You look for those twiddling and twirling the colour shaper produces lots of magical effects. You've got to be on the lookout for one. That's lovely that. Okay, let's just see if we can work a bit of magic in here. It's always possible to put the pastel pencil back again. Or you can use the stick pastels. Now, if you change the angles of your kind of shaper now, as though you're using the point of your pencil, you see how you get a completely different look. going to do too much here because I think that looks really attractive and we don't want to interfere with the animal too much so I'm going to settle for that at the moment anyway I like that let's carry on it may mean that I won't want to use too much more pastel let's just put a little bit of green see if it works Maybe a little ochre. You never know until you do it. Yeah, that works. It just breaks up the darkness a little bit. Okay, let's continue over here now. Now this is when now watch this black spread. So control it. Quiggle it. You can always put more on, but you can be a hell of a job to get it off again if it doesn't perform. Now this is different to the other side. I've left some of the light through it. And as we come into the lighter areas, see how it then picks up on some of the colours that I had there. You get a little bit like that, which is really nice. Now watch this as I go down here. I don't know what's going to happen, folks. This is why I like it so much. The unknown. Look at that lovely effect I've got in there. Now, what would be nice if I kept that light? So let's put some a little bit of light green in here like that coming down here through there and a little bit of ochre there's my 180 my substitute 182 there and let's see what we can do with that Now, when you're using soft pastel, prepare to be messy. You can't control these like you can the pastel pencil. But the pastel pencil won't give you the effects we're creating here. Totally different to what I th first had in my mind, but I like it. 
this is the, this is the bit that's going to make or break it right in the middle of the picture. So we do we do up here. We we'll see if we can make the pastel work for us. Again, I love the um, idea. In fact, I got what I'd like to do is a little bit of orange or something in here. Um, no, that's too pinky. It's got to be bright. I think this might be too bright. Oh, look at that. That's going to be great if that works. It should work because it will pick up on the orange of the animal. If I can manufacture that. I don't want to blend that in too much. I hope you're enjoying this. I am. You're probably thinking, oh, I couldn't do that. Well, you could with practice. And the great thing is, you're seeing me do it. You get the idea of how to use the pastel, how to use the colour shaper. Because in the past, I'd have had to use my finger to do this, and I wouldn't have been able to control it like I am there. You see that little twiddle as I go down, it completely changes and creates a, a different interpretation. Now oh, I love that. Now it could have just been a blob, blob, couldn't it? Instead, something that has got. Um, now what I want to do now is if I can. It's difficult to to control totally what you're doing. I love that orange. See if I can get some more of that in. tempted doing that and to put some more over here the danger of that is it might be too much uh, let's see if I can just do just a little trifle what I'm trying to do is to get some depth in here You see how much control you have. I'll stop before I finish this and you can analyze the difference between there and there. <clears throat> uh, well, it prays to be brave and I was brave then. So I got I got away with it. That's nice. I might even get away with it. Just a little bit here. See, I learn as I go along, folks. I didn't know I'd be able to do that.
and I don't want to make it I don't want to do any more I think that looks great just here it's a little bit you see how it goes over the animal's head well we can't have that so I'm going to turn it upside down and the reason I do that is I'm not, I'm not then thinking about that I'm making this work for me so let's just put some light just to break up that halo effect that I've got there Now you see the idea of that. I can't see this in relation to the head the right way up. But it should work. Find out in a minute when I turn it around the other way. Just a spot of depth there. Well, it looks good there. Let's see what it looks like. Let me turn it round. Now that works okay. Do you understand what I was trying to say there? I like that. Now I don't think I want to do too much more to that background. It's a lovely background and it works well. We can do things like this. If you come from here, because this is just on the other side of our animal, in fact, probably a good idea would be to Use a pastel pencil for this. We can get the grasses. It's not strong enough. Where's my dark one? Here we are. Just a little more detail. This corner could just be enriched just a little bit with your soft pastel.
Lovely. I think that's it. Lovely. I, I don't think I want to do any more. It looks great. It's a lovely picture. And uh, I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy this one, folks. As I said, I don't think as much I can do. What I will do, and I can do this off camera, is just make sure I've got all of the image on, for instance, just there. would have a, just a few little hairs. And the other thing which I haven't done here, we ought to put some whiskers on. You're not going to see them, but we know they're there. There you are, folks. All done.